Welcome to the Soul Align Success Series, Episode 1. I'm your host, Sarah Rose, and if you're new to my channel, I am a conscious leadership coach specifically to spiritual teachers, healers, light workers, and coaches. And it's my mission to help as many spiritual coaches, teachers, and healers launch their businesses online so that they can get their gift out into the world in a massive way, make a massive impact while also building the lifestyle goals on the back end that support and sustain their mission. So today I'm going to be diving into the number one thing that I see holding most spiritual coaches, teachers, and healers back when launching their business. Right, guys so we're gonna be diving into the number one thing overcoming imposter syndrome and I am no exception to this rule this stalled me out for so long with building my spiritual coaching business and I had to look back and ask myself what is the difference what is the difference between building your spiritual coaching business and other businesses because as a serial entrepreneur I had no problem promoting my other businesses and selling my services and sharing my message and sharing how fabulous I was with my services and charging top dollar for my services right out the gate. So I've done this with brick and mortar businesses, I've done this with other online businesses, and I've done this with service related businesses. But something is different when you step into the online space and creating your own brand where you are your brand because now everything there is like um there's no there's nothing to hide behind you can't hide behind a product you can't hide behind some kind of service you are the product you are the brand people are buying you they're buying your energy they're buying your confidence they're buying your certainty that you can help them go from a to z and this brings up all of your own fear demons, all of the self-doubt, and a lot of the worthiness issues around your own value and what you bring to the table. And so I wanted to chat with you about this a little bit because I've been there, I've done that. I remember pushing live on my first YouTube video, which you could probably still find on my channel, Frozen in Fear. Um, I did them live at first, actually, which really was scary because that after that then I went to pre-recorded for a while but it took me a whole year to record another video because it was so scary to get myself out there because all of the doubts come up especially if you're just stepping into the space brand new and you already have like friends and family and colleagues and other business associates and people from college or high school or other people following you online and they're like have no clue what you're into and what you're up to and you're you might even still be stepping out of the spiritual closet to begin with so take it how it resonates because everybody's at a different phase of their journey but even if you are more seasoned seasoned excuse me <clears throat> let me take a sip here <laughs> even if you are more seasoned and you're already you know, out there sharing some of these messages and some of the things that you're being called to share, which sort of go against the norm, right? They're against mainstream, they're against the old paradigm way of living, right? Because that's why you're here. You're here to help wake people up. You're here to help shift shit, right? That is the point of you stepping into your power, stepping into your purpose and truly owning your gift. And so first and foremost, I want you to recognize imposter syndrome is common and everybody goes through it and it can happen at any level of your business not just when you're just starting out so you can run into the same thing two years into your business when you're up leveling again and then two years later when you're up leveling again so here's what i want to tell you first and foremost everybody experiences this and the fact that you are experiencing imposter syndrome means you are hitting your upper limit and congratulations for you hitting imposter syndrome because that means that you are no longer allowing yourself to stay stuck in complacency or stay stuck in your comfort zone or in your familiar setting and because you are expanding and you are allowing yourself to grow beyond what your comfort zone is and that's why imposter syndrome is kicking in so first and foremost a perception shift on what imposter syndrome actually means can really sort of put your energy at ease recognize that the opposite of imposter syndrome would be 
resigning to a life of not fulfilling your dreams, of not stepping into your next level self, of not pursuing what it is you're here to pursue, of not following your dreams. And that looks a lot like complacency. And that looks a lot like, um, you know, dissatisfaction in life. And that looks a lot of, you know, people that don't follow their intuition, follow their heart, follow their dreams, and allow themselves to expand outside of their comfort zone, stay trapped. So the very comfort zone that they're building for themselves, that, that bubble of comfort actually becomes a prison to them because they're not able to grow outside of that. So first and foremost, I want you to congratulate yourself for testing your upper limits and recognize that imposter syndrome means that you are growing and expanding and it's a necessary part of this journey. So embrace it instead of letting it hold you back. That's first and foremost, what I wanted to say there. And then some of the frustrations I see happening a lot, I sort of wanted to debunk some of these things that I, I hear a lot with my clients inside Sacred Leader Academy and even some of my other coaching programs and with my own experience. First and foremost, a lot of the things that are holding you back from moving forward and causing this imposter syndrome is being ashamed of some of your stories or ashamed of you know still carrying some form of shame from where you were and all i can tell you with this is that those stories and situations of where you were those are your success stories and the more that you can step into a state of owning your story and owning your transformation and knowing that nobody is perfect and you're not meant to be perfect you are actually here to lead by example that means the things that you've went through were actually are now to be used for good and this is one of the mantras that i sort of um integrated a long time ago that's really worked for me and this is everything is used for good everything so when something was you know from your past which necessarily uh you were ashamed of i have so many stories now that i share online that used to hold so much anxiety within my system and stress that i could never even talk about them for example um a lot of the financial decisions I made, especially during the foreclosure crisis with the collapse of the economy in the US um, back in like 2006, 2007, I was an investor at that time as well and made a lot of stupid mistakes. I made a lot of uneducated mistakes with my money and my finances and it caused a lot of turmoil in my life and I was ashamed to talk about topics like that because I thought it reflected somehow on my worth. And this is what I mean when I say there's a level of worthiness issues. Reco worthiness hiding under the radar here. Recognize that these stories that you went through, these situations that you went through, which are just stories now, right? When you start to detach from them and you recognize that they are all part of your, old, your own soul growth and your own soul ascension, these are just nuggets of wisdom that you get to extract from and now you get to choose which kind of stories you want to share with others. Now I can speak about this all the time and it doesn't faze me because I am no longer attached to it as a form of my worth. It's not, it's, I'm not attached to the story to either validate my identity or not, right? And so you detach from these stories and you recognize that you are this process of becoming, you are on the soul ascension journey and that every experience that has been given to you was so you could overcome it. And whether you share that story or not as one of your brand new stories online, which is gonna be a totally other episode, is up to you. But just by owning it and knowing that you don't have to be perfect at life, in order to move forward with your gift and you don't have to be perfect at life in order to move forward with what you're feeling called to share that calling that you're feeling is divinely guided what you have to have is unwavering trust and faith in your mission and recognize that all of the all of the things that you used to shame yourself for were just part of your journey i would encourage you to go back journal those out extract the nuggets of wisdom that you got from those. Recognize how far you've grown because of those. Recognize how that wound back in the day, whatever it was, is now part of your gift. It cracked you open so you could grow and evolve. And now 
that you are leading by the clarity of your own example. You get to share these stories with others to help you be more authentic and transparent and vulnerable so people can get to know you. But at the same time, you get to diffuse the fear around some of these things and recognize you don't have to be perfect and you get to lead by example through your own example. So that's one thing that I, I see a lot. Oh, imposter syndrome is an issue because a lot of people are holding themselves back by clinging and identifying with their past stories, which need to be healed, cleared, and alchemized, and transformed, and reframed, and, and, and all of that so that they can move forward. The other thing that I really see is not trusting your gift, not trusting the value that you bring to the table. So I like to say this, even if you are a hot mess in other areas of your life, that does not discount the true value and gift that you have, the, the contribution that you have to bring to the world and the gift that you have to share and the message that you have to share. You don't have to have all of the areas of your life figured out. In fact, I will say you're not supposed to because you are here to ascend and you're you are on an accelerated ascension journey. Your job is to extract the wisdom, grow, and share what you feel called to share. Your job is not to be stuck in perfectionism mode and discounting yourself as if everything has to be perfect in order for you to move forward. Because in actuality, that's not true. You are here to lit, um, teach. First, learn your, yourself going through your own growth process and then teach by the actual clarity of your own example. So again, back to my mantra, everything is used for good. Everything is used for good. And I remember this, um, I posted about this on my Instagram account not too long ago. Um, so if you're watching this and you wanna follow me, go to, Insta go to Spiritual CEO and follow me because I talk about this stuff all the time. Um, so if you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and do that. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love any feedback that you have about this um, video thus far. But I remember going through some of my biggest tower moments and being like, wow, this is gonna be a really good success story. So when you're in the thick of some of your turmoils and some of your dark nights of the soul and some of the things that you're going through and the trials and tribulations and the massive growth, if you're on this journey, you're experiencing massive growth, you know, recognizing that as a teacher healer, I just saw 11, 11 on my clock, on my timer. As a teacher, healer, light worker, and coach, you are here to learn through your own ascension journey and then share by the clarity of your example. So perception shift, again, perception shift. Everything that you go through is used for good. And this automatically aligns you with one of the highest principles, which is of divine service to others, first to yourself and then to others. And this automatically aligns you with divine will, which is very, very powerful. If you wanna grow your business, if you wanna grow your mission, then align with the highest power, align with divine will, and you will experience exponential growth. Um, and then another common frustration that I see is feeling like they can talk the talk but not walk the walk kind of thing. So not feeling good enough and or not feeling like they can you can receive or I mean offer the transformation that you're promising. So again, a lot of doubt around the gift and the transformation that you're here to share. And so there's a lot of work on trust and there's a lot of work on you know, trusting not only yourself, trusting source, trusting divine, trusting your mission, trusting your calling, moving into a place of trust and faith is key here. Let's see if there's anything else I wanna look at my notes, make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, oh, the other one, yeah. The need for more results before you can go big and share your gift and your message. And this is sort of like a catch 22. It's like, how do you get more results if you don't go big and you don't share your message and your gift, but yet then you want more results before you can do that. But in order to get the results, you have to go big and you have to share your gift, right? So this is the connect, the, the um, catch 22 that so many of you, if you're watching this and resonating with this, get caught up with. And here's the thing. You don't need any more results than what you've already gotten for yourself in order to proceed. I wanna repeat that. You don't need any more results than the own transformation that you got for yourself. Yes, you've probably been, been helping people your whole life behind the scenes. You're probably the go-to person for advice. You're probably the go-to person when someone needs to find clarity on a topic because you're a natural teacher healer, right? You're at your core, you've art, you know, you have that archetype in you, right? You're a teacher, you're a healer, you're 
you know, the priestess, you're the mystic, you are the one that knows and has access very easily to divine wisdom to share. And so people naturally gravitate towards you. But even if you haven't been working professionally with anybody yet, and you're just starting out, this is specifically for you. You don't need anything more than your own transformation to move forward. Think about that. You can't have any more you know, testimonials or results from other people until you start. And so everybody starts somewhere. So I want you to scratch that. That's a, that is something that is a lie that you keep telling yourself that keeps you stuck. You don't need anything more than your own transformation to share and move forward so that you can help other people do the same. That is all you need. You need a hundred percent confidence and trust in that. You need your energy behind that. You need to know that that's true. You need to value the wisdom and the transformation and the gift that you bring to the table. You need to get all of your energy behind that and you need to trust it. You need to know it. Trust the calling. Trust the mes message. Trust the mission. Trust the divine. Trust that you're being guided because I already know you're see receiving signs, synchronicities. You're feeling the call on a very, very high level to move forward with your mission, to move forward with your gift, to share your passion, your purpose, and everything with the world. You need to trust that. You would not be being nudged otherwise if you were not ready. So start where you are. That's my other little takeaway from this is start where you are and take the next step. Trust the guidance, follow the spiritual breadcrumb, and trust where you are. There will be many, many logical reasons that you can come up with with why it doesn't make sense and that you can talk yourself out of this process because this is the fear popping up. And I work on this all the time inside my program with women to help them overcome, you know, all of the different fears that are popping up, which are going to be different episodes. So I don't want to go into that now. I want to keep this, you know, short and sweet. But this is, this is what I see a lot popping up with over with um, imposter syndrome holding you back. And I want to know what resonated with you from this. So if you have any questions or comments for me, please throw them in the comment section. Shoot me a DM. And if you really resonate with this, then I invite you to go to the link in my bio at spiritual ceo or you can find it below this video it's a soul aligned success masterclass where i share how to really step into your power and purpose monetize your gift build the soul aligned transformational program that allows you to leverage so you can make a massive impact on the front end of your business while creating the freedom lifestyle on the back end of your business and do it in just weeks not months it doesn't have to or years in some cases it doesn't have to take you months or years to get started in fact i show you how to build very very intuitively um, so that you can actually start making sales in your business right away instead of um, building it out in advance, which is the old paradigm of coaching. Um, so if that interests you, join me inside my Solo Align Success Masterclass. Shoot me a DM if you have any questions about this. I'd love to answer them. And I hope this episode finds you well. Tune in again for episode two coming to you shortly. Namaste.